Hello everyone and welcome to your love scope for March 1st through March 15th, 2017. Um, I'm going to do these love scopes a little different um, at some suggestions of viewers. Um, first of all, the three decks that I'm using for your love scopes are going to be The Whispers of Love by Angela Harfield and Josephine Wall. I'm also using the Tarot of Dreams deck by Soro Marchetti and the Romance Angels by Doring and Virtue. Also, I am separating this into three different categories and these will be time stamped. I am going to draw the Tarot of Dreams and the Romance Angels for um, as the main reading and I will then do three different readings on that separating it into what I'm calling super singles and what I mean by super singles is you are not um, physically interacting or committed to anybody you could be completely single where you're not thinking about anybody you don't have any interest there's absolutely no romance going on in your life or you could be super single in the fact where there is no romance taking place but um, maybe you like somebody or you're still thinking about a past relationship okay it's just there's no real romantic activity uh, transpiring in the physical right now so that is the super singles category the next category will be singles which are for those of you who are casually dating around um, there's people in your life in a romantic way um, but what is different is there is no verbalized commitment to any particular individual even if you are dating um, people or a very specific person okay there's just there's no real commitment there yet and then finally is going to be couples and that uh, speaks for itself there is a verbalized commitment you guys could be uh, just starting to to be in a serious relationship or you maybe you just got committed or you could be married you could be living together it's just you are coupled up and that's understood on both sides so I'm gonna um, segregate it that way to make it easier for everybody who's watching and to ensure that everybody uh, regardless of their situation gets a message personalized to them based on your requests so uh, each category will be time stamped. I'm starting with the super singles first so whatever category you fall into go ahead and go to the description box below and click on your time stamp. Otherwise I hope you all have a very beautiful and blessed uh, first half of March. Take care. Hey Virgo super singles so um main message I'm getting for you guys and regarding love and romance for this first two weeks is I think there's somebody that you guys either really like or you miss quite a bit okay and I say that because you guys have the four of cups at the center of the reading at the base of the reading you have the death card in the recent past the ace of wands and your crowning thoughts you have the knight of swords and in the near future we have the hermit with the romance angels we have free yourself express your love and give your relationship a chance so for some this is you really thinking about somebody else and this is uh, somebody that you haven't uh, spoken to in some time like the relationship hasn't been maintained whether um, I don't really get the sense that this is somebody that you seriously dated in the past okay this is more of somebody that you had a crush on or you liked or you casually dated maybe but um, or this is even somebody that you have recently uh, noticed in the uh, recent past, okay? So some of you um, are thinking about this person and you're keeping how you feel to yourself even though you want to communicate it and you want to express how you feel. 
you're you're not you're keeping it to yourself for some reason and uh you know if that person and maybe it's because you you really don't know the status in their life right now if they're dating somebody else or whatever if if they are single and you know that for sure based on these cards i really feel that you should express your interest in them okay you need to free yourself from the secrecy and solitary nature of how you feel and express it because, you know, there is a chance that uh, you and this person can move forward in, sort, in some sort of uh, romantic partnership, okay? There's not a lot of information about the future of the relationship, but the cards are really encouraging you to express yourself to this individual if they are also single, okay? Don't keep it to yourself. Although, I really feel that these first two weeks, if this is speaking to you, you are going to keep this information to yourself. And for some of you, it's like you're waiting for their relationship they are currently a part of to end. Like, you're not like, oh, please break up, but you definitely want to put yourself out there if they become available okay that's what i'm trying to say um for others of you what i'm getting is um since this is a super singles you are bored as hell with being single as fuck you are over it um <clears throat> for some you may have had like a hookup or a one night stand in the recent past or you met somebody that you were interested in but it didn't really go anywhere okay um but i just see that you're really tired and over being single you're done with it um you really want that energy to change <clears throat> and um you could even be starting to get a bit pessimistic about it okay um but <laughs> what i see in the near future for you guys is is still this singlehood energy i'm sorry i know nobody wants to hear that but um love can happen at any time okay you don't need a tarot reading to give you the green light go on love but in this particular reading for you guys, I don't see a whole lot of uh, change in your romantic situation this first two weeks of March unless you uh, fall into that category where you um, have feelings for somebody that you're keeping to yourself. Uh, I do see a, definitely a chance of something blossoming from that, from you expressing yourself. But again, I don't see uh, you guys doing that for whatever reason. Maybe the timing just doesn't quite feel right, all right? But Spirit is saying, put yourself out there. Free yourself from the solitude, from the secret. Also, some of you, you need to free yourself <clears throat> from being a hermit, okay? You need to change something in your routine, in your daily life, in order for this energy to actually fully come into your experience, okay? Um, and I do, I see you wanting this change, but are you willing to make the change, okay? Or do you feel too set in your ways to accommodate um, a new relationship? Because this here, this is the Major Arcana Hermit. This represents the Virgo energy. So this is you. This is your energy. And um, it is a solitary solitude aloneness. Um, some of you are in this single <clears throat> space because you have chosen that. You are um, still really hung up on a relationship that has ended, and you were hoping for a second chance or a reconciliation, but I just don't see that happening, at least not in these first two weeks of March. And I feel like this Free Yourself card is Spirit saying you need to free yourself from... Um, this hope and desire for this relationship to 
you know, reconcile because it's over. And that's why you're showing us the hermit in the near future. It's truly over. And um, maybe you need to express yourself to this person to have your closure. You know, there could be a potential to have a friendship, but I just get if that's what you're kind of dealing with, it's better that you're just kind of in your own space these first two weeks of March, okay? So, uh, let's go to the uh, Whispers of Love card to get some advice for you guys. Because this is really interesting for you super singles. Um, I think... It, it, some of you are single not because there isn't offers coming your way. It's... Because you're just, like I said, you're hung up on something from the past. And that's what's keeping you uh, in this place of solitude. And you might be thinking, oh, nothing's coming my way that I'm interested in. Well, it's not that nothing's coming your way that you wouldn't be interested in. It's just you're too caught up on something else from the past that you need to free yourself from. So that you're more available vibrationally to these new opportunities of love coming into your um, reality, okay? So, let's see what uh, Spirit has to say. <clears throat> All right. Love makes the difference. Love can heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So, really important that you... Ex you... <clears throat> Are very loving to yourself okay and you allow yourself to heal and let go of any past heartache past hurt anything like that because love makes the difference and express your love um, some of you if none of the ap above apply this could very well be saying to you hey you're single because the vibe you're giving off isn't that of openness and love you're very closed up and you um, are not focused, you're not funneling enough of your energy into the bucket of romantic love. It's time to really put a focus towards love and put your own energy into that, okay? That's going to make the difference for you. So take that to heart. And even if you've been burned and you're like, I can never love again, Spirit's saying, yes, you can. You need to free yourself from that kind of thinking and um, open your heart back up, okay? Because that's going to heal you and that's going to open the door for new love to come in so that you're not single as fuck anymore, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that that offered some guidance and clarity and... Um, I truly hope that you guys have a very beautiful and blessed first half of March. Take care. Okay, Virgo singles. So for you guys, um, I feel as though many of you were dating somebody kind of uh, consistently. There was no commitment, obviously, but there was somebody that you were pursuing or dating, and um, you... I think <clears throat> you really like them, um, you wanted things to continue, or this could even be where you kind of had just like a one night stand with them in the past because this here, this is your past energy, and this is telling me that um, this was in something new of some sort, and this coming out is the Ace of Wands, this here is... Uh, different readers call it different things but this is definitely the sex card the one night stand card depending on how it's aspected so this to me is where you guys had a hookup some of you or this is indicating um, where you met somebody and you guys um, started something but now here in the present it's like there's nothing um, happening nothing has moved forward with that relationship it's um, like it was very short-lived or it was just a one-night stand and then it's over and here you are still thinking about it even if you have other offers coming in you're still pretty um, hung up on this thing of the past and uh, you want to communicate 
with this individual. You want to express how you feel, like you, you want to have a relationship with them, but I really feel as though Spirit's saying you need to free yourself from that expectation because there's really nothing there in that relationship. It just is what it is. Um, and now it's done. Now, since this is general, this could be flipped where this is how you're feeling. You don't want it, but this person is trying to come in to you and, and tell you that they want more. But um, nonetheless, it, there's no viability in this relationship. And I see you guys being single these next two uh, two weeks of March because we have the hermit card here. So... Um, I don't really see a whole lot of uh, new activity coming in these first two weeks of March for you guys that are single, casually dating. Um, if anything, it's as though there's a very specific person that you're thinking about and you really want to communicate with them, but it's just, it's not happening. and. Um, you need to accept that with grace. And I think regardless of the other offers that you may have, you're like, no, that's what I really wanted. And if I can't have that, I'm just going to kind of be alone for a minute. Okay. So let me see. Now for some, um, just like with the super singles, you could have a crush on somebody and you are just not expressing that. You're not uh, putting it out there for whatever reason. And uh, if that is the case and you feel like they're filling you back, like there's a vibe, this is your green light go to free yourself from keeping that to yourself and finally express your affection for them because there is a chance that you guys can uh, move forward. Um, I don't really feel like this is a past relationship for you guys. I feel like this, if there's any uh, connection of the past, this is something that was very casual and light, like a one night stand or something, or a friend, it's nothing big. But for most of you, it's like a very brand new energy that you have, somebody you just met and um, you're not really putting yourself out there. You're being reserved and keeping it to yourself even though you're really thinking about them. And uh, for you guys, I, you need to express it. You need to put it out there because they're not going to read your mind, okay? You're not, uh, I don't think you're putting yourself out there as much as you might think you are, thinking they're going to bite and express their emotion to you. I think you are the one that's uh, coming off as far more closed and you need to put yourself out there. So um, let's take a look at the Whispers of Love for further advice for you guys because there's definitely uh, several different things going on in this reading um, for you singles just depending. So let's see here. What... Further advice you have for Virgo singles. <sighs> oh, okay, we got speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Okay, express your love. For those of you who need to tell somebody how you feel, that is going to make all the difference in the world, okay? And again, express yourself in a much more loving, open manner. I get that um, you may be closed up and rigid because you, you really like this person, okay? You have a lot of chemistry and passion. You, they might make you freeze up in their presence, but um, you need to... Uh, Become open and emotionally put yourself out there to them. I, I really feel like this is on you, especially if you're a male, okay? So just make yourself known and available. You don't have to, you know, embarrass yourself or make a fool of yourself, but you can subtly put it out there much more than you have been, okay? But much like the super singles, I just don't, I think you're going to hold back. I don't think you should. I think this is your green light go, but 
it's really up to you. So that's what I have for uh, Virgo singles. I hope that that offered some um, guidance and help for this first two weeks of March. And I hope that this first two weeks of March is very beautiful and blessed for you guys. Take care. Okay, so for Virgo couples, um, what I'm getting first and foremost is some of you really feel like the sexual passion in your romantic relationship has died. And I say that because what sits here at the base of the reading is this Four of Cups. This is boredom, discontentment, okay? And what sits below that is this uh, death card and in the recent past we have this ace of wands so this is telling me that um, some of you are in a relationship where there is no sex taking place and I say that because we have the outcome here is the hermit okay and up in the crowning thought is this uh, knight of swords so this could go two ways. You could be the one where you're dissatisfied um, with the state of your sexual relationship and your partnership and you want to free yourself from that and you want to express to your partner, hey, I'm bored. Let's try this. Let's do that. I want the spice back in our life because this may be um, putting you in a place where you don't feel like this relationship is viable <clears throat> going forward if there is no, uh, there's not a revival of the sexual passion and chemistry in your relationship, okay? But before you decide to just end things, because some of you are thinking about that, you really need to express yourself and, and give your partner a chance, okay? Because I just, I feel like there's a lot of investment in this relationship, and by you expressing um, your needs and what's missing, um, that's giving your relationship a chance. Now, for others of you, this goes the other way where it's you who has lost interest in sex and, and you don't want it or whatever and your partner's coming to you trying to express to you, hey, I want this back again, okay? So that's a, a big uh, focus for some of you couples out there. Now, for others of you, I really do see... Um, just with the death card here and then free yourself and then this hermit sitting in the near future I do see some of you really thinking about or actually ending um, your relationship because you are bored in it and there is no more sexual passion and you want that again um, you don't really feel like you can go the rest of your life without that connection with another person even if you do really love your partner um, or they're telling you hey I need that in order to stay with you um, so some of you definitely could be choosing to end your relationship this first two weeks of March, March due to this boredom <clears throat> lack of sexual chemistry passion um, it could even be like you guys just don't even talk anymore. It, you feel like the love is gone. You guys may just be in the relationship out of convenience at this point. It's really going to play out differently for all of you. But with Give Your Relationship a Chance, um, really consider all aspects of everything and be honest with yourself if there if this relationship is salvageable if you both start putting the energy and effort equally back into the relationship where perhaps there can be um you know a new spark of sexual passion but uh i do see many of you just ending it because you're like i i really no i don't i don't see um anything you know moving forward for us it's just we're just friends at this point it you know or we're together for convenience I really get that strongly um, <clears throat> for others I'm not I'm not there's not a whole lot more coming through for couples uh, I don't know for the couples it doesn't that it seems as though you're not um, it's not I don't want to say things are bad because they're not bad, but I just really feel a sense of boredom and 
staleness and you wanting a change or your partner wanting a change in the energy of the relationship and um, you guys choosing to end it or <clears throat> maybe you did just end it and um, now you are in this place of contemplation where you are, you know, missing your partner, but at the same time, you know, you need to free yourself from that because you know that it's just not viable because there's no more chemistry and passion between the two of you. Okay, so um, let's go to the Whispers of Love to get more information about uh, some advice. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> You guys got new love. Embrace the new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. So, this here, <clears throat> again, there could be a revival for some of you, and this is your confirmation of that, but it only takes place if you express yourself and your partner is open to what you're expressing and you both choose to equally put energy back into the relationship then you can achieve this new love now for others of you um it is time to just end this relationship because there is new love on the horizon and i i was kind of feeling this as i was uh, doing the reading but it wasn't very strong but since this came out as the advice um some of you are in a relationship and you did meet somebody else. You may have even gone as far as to hook up with them sexually. And now that is what is causing you to really want out of your relationship and to be in a single status so that you can pursue this new opportunity and potential other opportunities. Because it's not, I don't, if this is the case, I don't see you wanting to end your relationship to get into a brand new relationship. It's more like whatever this energy was sparked something new inside of you and you recognize the relationship that you're in is no longer viable. So you want to end it and move forward. Because there's a new love inside of you, spiritually, that was triggered by some event in the recent past that does not have to do with your current partner, okay? So, for Virgo coupled up, <clears throat> this is very specific two ways. Either you both put all your energy and effort back into the relationship and you can achieve it, a new level of love, or it's truly time to end it and move on because there is new love um, on the horizon for you that is going to be far more suited to you, especially with free yourself here, okay? So that's what I have for coupled up Virgos. I hope that that did bring some guidance and clarity, and I really hope that you guys have a very beautiful and blessed first half of March. Take care.